Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, everything is proceeding very smoothly here at headquarters. Research is continuing on heavy lasers, which will be very nice for those LMGs. I think that gives you LMGs. Maybe it gives you laser shotguns, I'm not sure which. Either way, it'll be useful. So that's continuing. All these facilities have been built, I'm pretty much set on facilities. Obviously another satellite uplink would be nice. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have built that power generator there, but rather down there. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. It'll be fine. So, seven days. In seven days, I'm going to get three satellites, which is going to be very nice. That's going to massively increase the amount of money I get per month. And also reduce panic, of course. My soldiers are doing very well. Only one is wounded. One um, arrow is out on a covert operation. Taking care of the Exalt, which we will deal with in how many days? Six days. That's actually the next thing to come up. That covert operation with the Exalt. Which will be the first time I've ever dealt with that. I don't know how that's going to go. But anyway, there's basically nothing to do right now except... Wait for stuff to happen, because I need... I basically need money to buy stuff. So let's just wait. Well, didn't have to wait long, did we? Commander. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Hmm. Of course. The place with the most panic is the one that's very difficult. <laughs> it's also the only one that has money. I don't... I don't. I really don't think I need another soldier. I don't need more engineers. Okay. We're going to go with the very difficult one because I want the money. We got this. We got this. We can do this. But of course, since it's very difficult, I can't train newbies on this mission. I need to take my best. So, Mech Trooper. Sergeant Smith. Sergeant Cotton Candy Smith. Oh, wait a minute. You actually have a nickname, don't you? Murphy. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to have to change that. That just will not do. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's okay. I'll just forego the space. John Cotton Candy Smith. <laughs> uh, okay. So our best. Obviously he's coming, of course. Graves is coming because he's my support. And of course, Isley has to come. She's my sniper. Um, Hold on, who's... What's my highest ranked? Right. So if I didn't... Right, because I have two people out. I have one wounded and one on an operation. So I pretty much need you. Because it's either you or what? It's either you or another sniper. Um, What are your abilities? You're not all that high, really. When it comes to your skills. Wait, where's it? Uh, abilities. You're another medic. Hmm. You're not terribly useful, but then again, Spectre isn't terribly useful right now either. Until I get her some more skills. And of course she needs to be into combat to get skills, but... The place to develop skills on a newbie is not on a very difficult mission. So, yeah, I'm gonna take you. Okay. In that case, I need to customize you. Yep. Okay. So what viewer are you going to be named after? Let me check the list. All right, the next name on the randomized list is... Nope, that is not how you spell it. There we go. Blunda. Which I'm assuming is supposed to be like a heavily accented sort of guttural version of Blunder. Blunda. Raikou, Blunda. <laughs> it's an interesting combination of names. You already have a nickname? Oh, I guess you get it at Sergeant. Huh. Okay. And let's customize your look. Gotta go with something ridiculous, of course. I can't help myself. There's no way I can go with something normal looking. Come on. 
Get some nice facial hair here. Hmm. Let's go with that. Yeah, that looks nice. There we go. It matches his beard color. Perfect. That actually doesn't really look ridiculous. You actually look kind of good. I can't believe I just did that. You're supposed to look ridiculous. What am I even thinking? Alright, you need stuff. You're a medic, so obviously I'm going to give you a med kit. Or should I give you a vest? Nah, I'm gonna give you a medkit. Yeah, and of course, a laser rifle. Alright, laser rifle, laser rifle, mech is outfitted. You have... Armor, you have your scope. I think that's it. I believe so. Alright, as soon as I complete this mission... The, I think the first thing I'm going to spend the money on is the next squad size upgrade, so I'll be able to take six people out on a mission, which is going to be very valuable. Okay, let's go. Touching down. Our target site is near the German border. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. You know, I'm really missing Arrow right about now, because I really want that mimetic skin on an assault trooper. That is so valuable. You can just scout like crazy. You, that is like the best scouting utility you could possibly have. But now I'm going to have to discover them to be able to see them. As soon as I can see them, they can see me. Man. I think it was right to send her on that covert operation though, because she's the perfect one for it. Who is better for a covert operation than someone who can stay invisible constantly? And hopefully it makes extracting her very easy, we'll see. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Alright, so what's my squad makeup again? Obviously, that's... A mech and a sniper, and I have two supports and a heavy, right? Your support, you are support, and you're my heavy. What are your abilities again? Bullet swarm. That's right, you can shoot twice. Oh, you have the dense smoke. So it's going to give plus 40 bonus, the smoke grenade. And you have Sprinter, which means you can move super far, and oh my god, can you? Holy crap! I didn't realize what a huge difference that made, look at that. You can move really far. Okay, meld canisters. Right. I want the meld, but it's a very difficult mission, so I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. Alright, this looks like it's a corridor sort of situation. Or just the whole thing just goes this direction, so we can kind of just move as a unit. That is a strange place for a toolbox. Just sitting out in the open. Some careless mechanics. I'm not sure I want to move them up that much. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. No one in here. <laughs> John Cotton Candy Smith. God, I love you. Oh, it's a super tall toolbox. This one's actually full cover. Well, my sniper's obviously going to end up on the roof, of course. 
I'll go into half cover. It's fine. And let's send you up. Can you make it? Yes, you can. You can just make it. Please don't discover any enemies. Okay, good. And Overwatch. You're in half cover, so why don't you hunker down? And you can't go into cover, so why don't you just Overwatch? It gives you a bonus to defense anyway by Overwatching, so you'll be fo- Oh, oh god shit, mutants. I've got a visual. Come on, Blunder. Blunder. You failed me, Blunder. You blundered, Blunder. Okay, Graves, 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 Graves. Nice. Nice one. It's down to half health. Or less? No, half health exactly. Wow, that... Okay, it just fucked off and disappeared. It's coming around the back. Right, well, my sniper is in a position to do nothing. Because, unfortunately, they're inside. But... I'm just gonna leave her there. Yeah. If they come outside, I'll deal with them. Where did the other one go? One, one went around here, but what about the other one? There wait, is that... Oh, shit, that's a meld canister. Okay, so we need to go towards them. Because the meld canister is that direction. Half cover, half cover, half cover, full cover. Hmm. 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 Heading there now. Go ahead and move up. Oh, fuck. I, oh, fuck. I'm fighting five units at one time. Oh, those can totally fuck my sniper over. Oh, this isn't good. Hmm. I think I should move her with the rest of the group. They're going to destroy her. Yeah. Well, I'll move her at the end. We'll see what happens with the rest of this. Alright, what kind of plays am I going to make? They're all hiding, the bastards, and they're in full cover. Can I do any rockets? Can I do any rocketry? Who's my heavy? You're my heavy. Now's the time to blow shit up. And I just might do that. You're going to destroy the car that my person is behind. I don't think it'll hurt them. Will it hurt them? Mm. Can I shoot through the door? I don't think I can shoot through the door. That's unfortunate. Alright, well this is going to kill two of them. So, here we go. Please don't hurt my friend. Please don't hurt your squad mate. Please, 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 please. Well, I just totally fucked him over, but he panicked and killed one of them, so that's good. But also, you're almost dead, holy shit. It, I mean, it was raised up on a platform, so I thought he'd be okay. Oh my god, Blenda, I think I, think I just totally screwed you. The good thing is you're new, so if I lose you, you know, it's not like I invested anything in you. It's, it's, I mean, yeah. Okay, um, you're fucked. I did just kill three of them, though. So that only leaves two mutons, one of which I can see, the other one I can't. Right, this is off to a bad start. But remember, if I can survive this, this encounter, I have six medkits at my disposal, so I can patch him right up, and he'll be fine. Blunda will be fine. 52% chance, that's not good. Alright, let's move you up. Better than 52? Nope, it's still 52. Okay, I'll take it. Well, at least even more cover is destroyed. That's good, at least. 
Actually, I could have destroyed the cover. That would have been nice. Who's left? Right, so either, you're the only one who can take a shot. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, I was going to have my sniper come down from the roof because of the, the floaters, but now that they're dead, there's no reason to. Should I have him shoot? Yeah, I'm going to have him shoot. That's what he's here for. 44. That's not great. But what's the alternative? Flamethrower's not going to reach. Hell no. Alright, just take it. Please it. Please it. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Blunda's in full cover. That's the good thing. The bad thing is, if he gets hit once, he's dead. Guaranteed. And he's also the closest, so he's probably going to be the one that takes a shot. Or gets shot at. Isley can't do anything. If she moves, she can't shoot. So I'm just going to put you in Overwatch in case the other Muton comes around the corner. And oh my god, Blunda. Please live. Please. You're going to shoot a Blunda, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Excellent. Blood Call. Blood Call? What does Blood Call do? No, don't shoot. What does it do? How do I how do I figure out what it does? Hmm. I don't know. I can't do the stupid collateral damage because shooting once takes up half his ammo. Alright, well killing him should be easy. I have so many people here. Blunda, can you shoot? You can. Right, well, I learned something today about splash damage. Splash damage tends to, tends to splash. Rolling. Oh, what the fuck? I had no idea you were there. Jesus. Well, I have a flanking shot. I guess I'll take it. Thank God, was that a crit? He's down. That was a crit. I am so glad you got a crit, Blunda. Wow. This mission is not going so well to begin with, but we're okay. We should be able to kill this Muton, no problem. You're in full cover. I'm not going to move you up to half cover, so just take the shot. And you're dead. Plus une menace. Indeed. I have no idea what you just said, but I totally agree. Right, in fact, Blunda, aren't you a healer? You are a healer. Okay. Alright, it's time to regroup, go grab the melt canister, heal up, and reload. Let's, let's get close to Blunda, so in case another enemy just pops up, he'll be okay. Let's... let's reload, I shouldn't need to overwatch. Please, no enemies pop up, because I have no overwatch whatsoever. Okay, we're good. You, oh. Meld canister this direction. Ah, I see it. Well, let's grab this one first. You badly need to heal yourself, and you also need to reload. That's going to take quite a few turns. Wait, it healed six. Is that the... Oh, is it the... Wait, how did he heal six? I thought he had the... M Medal of Better Healing. You don't. I thought it only healed four. Hold on. I don't... Hmm. Strange. I'm not going to complain, though.
Let's just leave you here and have you reload. Actually, I should see if I can heal you. Probably should have done that. Hmm. Can't move you up without dashing. I can take cover behind this little shop vac. That is terrible cover. I'm already in half cover though, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll move... Uh. Yeah, just overwatch. Hmm. I don't want to risk triggering enemies with her. I'm going to leave her over here. Though I will move her to this side. Okay. So she can cover that milled canister when we go for it in a couple turns. I heard enemies. Okay. They're back there. Oh shit. Okay, good. Lots of overwatch. Dead? Dead? Not dead. Where are you going? Oh, at least I'm going to trigger an overwatch here with Isley. Am I? Am I? Overwatch? Oh, no, I didn't do overwatch. Shit. Okay. Fuck. I have two floaters in full cover, two thin men in full cover, and one in half cover. Also, I'm flanked up the ass, and I've already used my rocket. This is bad. At least we're at full health, though. Um, I believe I can burn them. I think that's the way to go. I think I just need to burn these two fuckers. What's the range? Alright, hopefully this will work. Please tell me the cone is going to hit them. Oh shit, it's not going to get that one, is it? I don't think it will, but it's supposed to spread next turn, so it might work. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Alright, well, I've already committed, so let's just do it. Oh, it did work. Okay. That's weird. I thought it wasn't going to hit that. But, okay, that, that takes care of the biggest problem. And there goes two floaters. Now I need to take care of three thin men. What's your percent chance to hit? Alright. So 83 for the full covers, and basically guaranteed kill for the half cover. Now, what can everyone else do? Did they go into Overwatch? I can't remember. All right, two of them are flanked, but it's all right. We can move. All right, I have four shots to I have four shots to make and three enemies, so let's make this work. Here we go. Your shot number one. Those are terrible chances to hit. Let's leave you for now. You know, smoke grenade might be the way to go here. If I can't get a good shot. It would increase defense by 40. Which would make us damn near impossible to hit. Hold on, what's the range? It's pretty big, would it? Oh, it would even hit um, Isley up there. And everybody's in full cover. That is probably a good thing to do. Hold on, if I move here, I can flank you, right? And I can still hit him with a grenade? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna move you here so you can get a flanking shot. Thirty-seven, fifty-six. All right, let's kill you. Excellent. Yeah, are you out of ammo? 
Yeah, he's completely out of ammo. Alright, let's try to kill another one. Let's kill the one in full cover. Or should I? See, if I kill this one, it's guaranteed to take damage. I mean, if I shoot at this one, I'm guaranteed to take damage off of the battlefield because I'm going to kill it. If I shoot at this one, I might not. I'm going to go for the easy shot. Now, do I really want to smoke to protect us from one Thin Man? Kind of seems like a waste. It really does seem like a waste. But if I don't use it, what am I going to do? Take a 47% chance to hit? Hold on, do you have hollow targeting? No, you have bullet swarm. Oh, wait, I could have shot you twice from over here. Maybe. I forgot about bullet swarm. Ugh. Alright, um, I'm not going to use... No, I'm not going to use my smoke grenade. I'm going to take this, this chance. See if it works. It did not pay off. You blew up something, but thankfully you didn't blow up anybody's cover. You almost did. And I'm just going to suppress you. Good luck, motherfucker. Try and hit us. Yep, you hunkered down. I thought so. And now you're dead. Because I have the eyes in the skies. Oh, that's right, you're hunkered down. Shit. Well, I'll take it anyway. Damn it. Wow. That thing is really hard to hit, but hold on, I can probably get a flanking shot, right? Oh shit, you're out of ammo because of the suppression. Ugh. You're the only one who can shoot. Everybody else is freaking out of ammo. I can get a suppression... Uh, suppressing. I can't get a flanking shot. Or I could smoke grenade. What's better? Wait a minute, I totally forgot about you. You need to go get this. Please don't discover any more enemies. Good. <laughs> Protect everyone or take the shot. Let's take the shot. 92. Yeah, that's a really good chance. You're dead. Commander, the operation was a success. Oh, that was it? Wow, I didn't even get to the other meld canister, but somehow we managed to encounter all of the aliens. That actually went quite well. Aside from the beginning part where I blew up one of my squad mates, kind of. Whoops. I'm sorry, Blunda. I, I kind of made a blunder. Look at those promotions. Major. Major. Gideon Prophet Graves. Deep Pockets. Oh, I guess you have no choice when you reach Major. All limited use items in your inventory receive one extra use. Nice. What would that affect, though? I'm not exactly sure. Sounds good, though. Promoted to Captain. Grenadier or Danger Zone? Hmm. Right, I didn't go with Grenadier for my other heavy. And I probably won't here. I don't... I just don't really seem to care about grenades. Although I do want to try the flash grenades, I really do. But... I don't know, this just seems really nice, being able to blow up a huge area. I mean, a, gr a rocket is essentially like a super grenade but with less uses. 
And of course it only does damage, whereas you can get, like, the Flashbang, for example, which does something completely different. Now I'm gonna go Danger Zone. Lieutenant John Cotton Candy Smith. <laughs> I laugh every time I see him. Jet Boot Module. When activated, it confers the ability to jump to normally inaccessible heights for the rest of the turn. One for all. When activated, the mech becomes a high cover element. Ah! Oh. Moving or using an arm based weapon will return the mech to standard posture. That sounds terrible. As much as having a movable high cover thing sounds nice, if it, you, if it fires or moves, it's not going to work. Which means you get to become cover, yes, but you also could die. You're destroyable cover. Your cover is a soldier who can take damage and die, and also it's, like, practically useless. Until it ceases to become cover, so, no. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Jet Boot. No. Lieutenant for Isley. Disabling shot or battle scanner, okay. Allows the sniper to fire a shot that causes the target's main weapon to malfunction. The target may use reload to fix the weapon. The shot cannot inflict a critical hit. Two turn cooldown. Okay, so that's a guaranteed hit. That's not a percent chance to hit, that's guaranteed to disable the weapon. So, with that, I could buy time. Battle scanner. Creates a new source of vision for two turns. Hmm. I think disabling shot's better. I remember I never really used Battle Scanner in my original playthrough. Which may have been a mistake, but I'm thinking that now that I have Mimetic Skin, that this is practically useless. Because, I, I mean, a person with Mimetic Skin is basically a super, a super version of a Battle Scanner. A Battle Scanner in the form of an entire person who can shoot. So why even bother, bother with that? I'm just going to go with Disabling Shot. Ooh. <laughs> Blunda's wounded for 12 days. Blunda, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I blew you up. That was really quite rude. You'll be okay, though. They'll, they'll reattach your limbs. Padding in Germany has it decreased by three. Excellent. Remember, we will be watching. Did anyone else panic? Not sure, but Egypt, South Africa, and United Kingdom have been panicking. But it's... Oh, yep, here we go. Egypt. But in seven days, I will be able to cure that. Hopefully they don't pull out of their... Hopefully they don't pull their funding before then. Right. So now I have money. What was I going to do? Let's see. The first thing is officer, tra officer training. So we'll definitely increase my squad size. Done. Will automatically promote it to squatty. Kill twice as fast. Eh. Alright, so I only have eight troops. Two of which are wounded, which isn't great. I do want to train more, definitely. I'm definitely gonna train more. On on easy missions. Okay, I have a bit more money. What do I want to spend that on? I do want to spend it on something. I can't remember what I just unlocked, but I know there's stuff I wanted to buy. <laughs> I don't need more rifles. Should I get an arc thrower? Hold on. I do. Okay, I need to build an arc thrower. I need to get moving on that. So let's just, just, just go ahead and build one. There we go. I wanted to try the flashbang. Kind of. Mm. No, I don't want to try it right now. Oh yeah, the carapace armor. That's what I wanted. Okay, I definitely want that. There's zero doubt I, I want that. I need that. 
so I need to get five, because obviously I can't give one to my mech. <laughs> my mech definitely doesn't need carapace armor, it, it wouldn't fit. So five would cost 100. If I didn't buy that, what else could I buy? There's something else I wanted, what was it, um... Ammo conservation? I would- oh, I don't have enough for that. Improved medkit, that'd be nice, but I don't need that too much. Uh, this is what I really, really want. It allows you to hold two items, but that's 200, so no, ar armor is far more important. Without a doubt. Let's go ahead and make five. Yeah. And we are back to being poor. Thus, we are back to waiting. Uh oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, it, it landed. I thought it was going to be a air contact because I don't think my planes are very, my jets are very powerful. Although I did just upgrade their weapons. But anyway, it just landed, so we're good. Unfortunately, there's yet another one wounded, so I gotta go with Spectre, which actually isn't bad because this probably isn't a super hard mission. So it'd be good to train her some more. <laughs> Get another sniper training. I just really want Arrow back. I want my Assault back. I really, really do. Oh, do we have to, t we have to take a Rookie, don't we? Because now we have a larger squad size. Yep, we do. Okay, it's time to... Name you after another viewer. Let me grab my list here. Okay, next one. Next viewer name from the randomized list is... A name that I will write before attempting to pronounce. Oops. Oh, where's my M? There's my M. Did I? Let me make sure I spell that right. Yes, I did. Okay, I, do, I have no idea how to pronounce the first name, so I'm just going to call them Malmus. I'll just call them after their last name. And Melmus, you are Spanish. I like that. Nice little, like, windswept mop of hair. <laughs> I love those helmets. <laughs> they just look ridiculous. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make you bald. Yeah. You're going to go with a cue bald look. Should I make you an Oompa Loompa? No, we have enough green. Let's go with that. Perfect. And your armor color? Your armor color matches your beard color. Done. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, do I... Right, I was just thinking, you don't have a, a laser rifle, but... The other person who has the other laser rifle is currently out, so I'm just going to make items available and give it to you. That's going to mean you actually have a chance in hell at killing something, whereas before you didn't. Now we're going to give everyone carapace armor. Which, once again, is actually going to make it so you might survive. Just maybe. There we go, that looks pretty badass, doesn't it? It's going to increase everyone's health by three. That looks really cool, between the battle fedora and the black clothes, and the carapace armor. That just looks cool. Alright, should I give you more health? I want to give you a scope. But unfortunately, I don't have an extra one. Grenade is kind of pointless for a sniper, because you're going to be in the back. Actually, maybe you don't have squad sight left uh, yet. In which case, if you... Yeah, you don't have squad sight, so never mind. You're actually not going to be in the back, because then you won't be able to shoot anything. So, I'm going to give you a vest, so you might actually survive. Alright, what do I have here? You have a medkit. 
You have some more armor. You have a scope. Uh, do I want you to just have a grenade? You know what, rookie? You're going to be the one with the arc thrower. Yes. You're going to be the one that has to go up to the aliens and tries to capture them. That is the burden of being a rookie. <laughs> oh, God. I think that's it. Yep. Current objective, capture a live alien. I'll try. Dropship has arrived. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. The alien craft set down in a remote area. Securing the site is our top priority. As always, we should eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Right, well this is called Operation Brutal Apollo, which doesn't make me comfortable. The operation names always just sound horrible. They make me think every single one of my troops are going to die. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Alright, I remember these maps. These are these forest maps. There's one of the canisters. There's usually lots of high ground, as you can see. Which will be perfect for my sniper. Yeah, these are actually the perfect maps for snipers, because the snipers can normally, if they have high ground, see basically every enemy anywhere. Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't remember these forced maps having broken, broken down cars just kind of like rusting here. It's kind of cool. Makes it feel a little bit like a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Even though, of course, it isn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone has a shit ton of health, don't they? Nice. <laughs> Jet boot module. That is awesome. I wonder if you can rain down fire from above. Can you shoot your flamethrower down? That'd be kind of awesome. Well, first things first. Me muevo a la posición. Eso es lo que estamos buscando. Looks like we're gonna have to sprint, dash to get to cover. Yeah, we have to. Unless we stand out in the open, which I really don't want to do. Let's do that. Please don't discover enemies. Good. Half cover, half cover, half cover. That's eh, a lot of half cover. Yeah, let's go there. Put my snipers into position, but where? <laughs> Just a pile of trash on top of a hill. Beautiful. You know, whoever the hell put this here, I don't think this is a landfill, okay? You shouldn't put your trash on top of a hill. Alright, let's start moving her in that direction. You need to be up close and personal because you do not have squad sight. Although you do have the shoot better across, which should help a little bit. I'm gonna... I don't want to push her up. I'm gonna do it. Please don't discover enemies. Please, 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 please. Ah, oh, fuck. Not good. I have like no turns left on anybody left. Uh, but we are in full cover. Everyone is in full cover, except you. You're the only one who can do anything. Alright, Malmus, you're gonna capture one you're gonna capture one of these floaters. Should 
Should I overwatch? Or just hunker down? Uh... Wow, Spectre is not the one that should be that close to the enemy. She is the closest. That is bad, because she does not have much health. Alright, I'm gonna overwatch. Please don't kill anyone this turn. Oh god. Oh god. They're in full cover. It did. Oh, it's a flanking shot, and it's a critical. Oh, Spectre. Don't die, Spectre. Oh no. Oh no, where are you gonna come down? If you come down behind Spectre, she's... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, it didn't shoot. It didn't shoot. Okay. Those are bad chances. Flamethrower is pointless. I could destroy your cover. Actually, I could destroy your cover. Which is probably the best use because 55... 55% eh, chance and it's guaranteed to kill if it hits. Hold on. What's the best use of resources here? I, okay, I can pretty much guarantee a kill on this enemy. With two turns, so that leaves me four people... Hold on, can you shoot? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to blow up your cover. Fuck you. Firing on target position. Oh yeah! Used a ball of its ammo, but now it is in no cover whatsoever. Which means you should be able to get some nice battle experience here. 77% chance, I will take it. You kind of aimed like one foot up and to the left. A little, little bit off there. Unfortunately, there's no way I can try to even capture these aliens because... It, it just it puts Spectre in pretty much a position of guaranteed death. So, no. Move you up to full cover. Who can you shoot? Both. Hold on. What can Isley do? Alright, she has pretty much a guaranteed kill on that, so I need to focus on killing the other one. I can't use the arc thrower from here. No, I can't. You're dead. Well, you might not be a rookie for very long, Malmus. I'm going to move you up here. Yeah, because we're going to be going to that next turn. And let's just kill you. Goodbye. I suppose I could have done a disabling shot, which actually... Ooh, the disabling shot would be good for using the... The arc thrower on these enemies. Because it would guarantee they couldn't do anything for a turn. I suppose they could move a little bit and then reload to fix their weapon, but... Still, they wouldn't be able to attack. I need to move up to Spectre and heal her. I'm actually going to have to use three medkits to get you up to full. Hold on, do I have someone else to medkit? Or is my other heavy out too? Or I mean, my other support. Yeah, my other support is out. Ooh. That's bad. I don't like that. Can't quite reach it without sprinting. And you obviously need to reload. Mm, 
let... Mm. See, again, she's probably going to discover enemies. So I'm just going to move her here for now. Because I need to get I need to get myself situated here and all healed up. Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. I have returned and I've been gone for about 15 to 20 minutes and I have no idea what the hell I was doing. Um. Um. Right, I want to heal you again. What was I doing? I think I was moving everybody up to get the meld canister. Yes. Yes. Alright, so dash you up. He needs to be pretty close to the front line, Malmus, because he has the arc thrower. So if he has any hope of getting of using it, he's gonna have to be close to the front line. Alright, let's get you in. Overwatch or hunker down? Hunker down. She's taking too much damage. Okay. So they're either inside of the UFO or just outside of it. Right here. Either way, let's grab this thing. There we go. Alright, let's get some eyes on the situation here. That is so awesome. Okay, she will be able to shoot anything around here. Guaranteed. And have a damn good chance of hitting it. Let's move everybody up. And I want to heal you again. Alright, she's got four, was it one, two, three, oh no, go back to it. One, two, three, four, five, okay, she has ten hit points. That's pretty good, not bad. Unless she gets critted, she should be able to survive at least one shot. I definitely don't want her on the front line, though. Although she does unfortunately need to be close to it because she doesn't have squad sight. Alright, I think they're inside of the UFO. There now. Time for some overwatch. Or some reload. I'm just gonna reload. Yeah, let's do that when it's a moment of quiet, rather than in the heat of battle and you don't have any shots left. I've got enough over overwatch from the other people. I'll reload with you too. And uh, I don't want her to be separate from the group, because then she's more likely to be picked off. Yeah, move on up here. No, oh, apparently the meld canister is inside of this massive UFO. Let's move on up. Affirmative, Commander. Hello. Yeah, they're definitely inside. Probably right in here. I kind of want to sprint to get the meld, but that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I'm not going to do it. Not worth it. Voy hacia ese lugar.
Let's dash you right here. Perfect. We're hugging the tree. We're tree huggers. And some overwatch. If anything pops up, it's going to get hit by four different overwatches. Come on, try me. Oh, wait a minute. That's outside of the UFO. I dare you to pop up. I dare you to pop up. If no one else, Isley would be able to just guarantee its death from up here. Alright, let's start moving over. Get some eyes on the situation. Still nothing. I want to see these enemies. Hmm. They're pretty far back there. Gonna have to sprint. Come on, Malmus. To the front line. You've got the arc thrower. Je confirme la position. I see, so without the jet boot module, he can't even get up here. But he would be able to if I used it. Moving. And there is no reason at all to move her. She's in full cover, she's perfect, and she can see anything out here. Melds in there, enemies are out there. Uh, I want to go for the enemies before the meld. I really do. I probably don't have too many turns left for the meld, though. I really don't. I've been waiting quite a bit. Have to move in a really shitty cover here. But let's do it. Oh, come on. Where are you bastards? I might just have to go inside. I mean, if I don't see them now, where are they? They must... Did they head back inside the UFO? Maybe. I'm on it, Commander. Let's dash you over here. Okay, je bouge. <laughs> They've got to be right there. They have to be. They came from over here, and look at this. They have to be right here. Okay. So, I just need to move up a little bit. Where should I move up? Who should I move up with? You? She'd be the first one to get shredded if she got that close. Let's move up with you. Here we go. Oh, they're Seekers. Right, so they could have moved anywhere. Great. Alright, well we can ignore them for now. Let's let's start surrounding this building. This, this building. Let's start surrounding this UFO. We'll just ignore them for now.
Anyone inside? Hello? Nothing. Where are you, Meld? I know you're in here. I don't think the Seekers are going to show themselves this turn. And if they do, they're dead. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized Isley is in extreme danger. Okay, I'm going to move her up. Yeah, she needs to be closer to the group. Plus, since we're about to enter inside, she wouldn't be able to shoot anything anyway, so it's fine. It's totally fine. Same with you. Let's let's bring our group together. Overwatch. We need to move fast if we want the meld. Overwatch, and we're good. Come on, show yourselves. I would love it. Oh, hi, you're dead. Did you seriously just miss? Oh my god. Welp. That didn't work out. Oh great! That's wonderful! Right, well you're priority number one. That would basically guarantee it's dead. Ah, oh, shit, where did the other ones go? We got, I can only see one Thin Man. Who can you hit? Very good chance, very good chance. Alright, let's just blast you to smithereens. Yeah. Wait, I, I... I can see two now? Oh, I guess I gained the sight of him now that he's not strangled. Interesting. Okay, so they're packed together. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Oh my god, this rocket is huge. You know what? You know, fuck it. I bet this is gonna kill wherever the third Thin Man is. Yeah. Fuck you, Thin Man. Suck on my gigantic rocket radius. Suck on all of it. <laughs> Does that end the mission? No, there's more. Okay. Man, I think I'm gonna lose this meld. It's pretty much guaranteed at this point. It's been far too many turns. Alright, we gotta move fast. Oh shit! Wait, how did I activate that? Where, how, what exactly did they see me through? I don't, I don't understand. How do they have line of sight? I, I moved from here to here, and they saw me in here. Look, the, the doorway is closed off. There's no window. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, right, you've been strangled, so you can't really move. Great. I'll just leave you there. Alright, at least we're in full cover. That's a good thing. Even though we're not really going to have any overwatches, I think. Well, we have one. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to activate. Because if anything, they're going to pop up here. 
Or not. Oh, there we go. Oh, the Overwatch did trigger. Holy shit, Malmus. You deserve a promotion for that. You, you're no longer a rookie, right? Promotion? No promotion? Man. I guess the higher-ups are hard. They're very tough on the rookies. Well, I'll give you an honorary promotion, Malmus. In my heart, you're no longer a rookie. Alright, there's two more. One came from there, so I'm guessing the others are probably going to do the same. Let's check. Let's just gather some intel. Pop that open. Hello? Okay, nothing. Yeah, they're probably going to come from over there, so let's... Let's do some more Overwatch. If they come through that doorway, they will be eviscerated. Where the hell do I put Isley? There? I don't know. I don't think she's going to be able to get a shot off for the rest of this map, though. Nope. Her strengths? Her strengths are definitely when she's out in the open. Not in close quarters. It just doesn't really work. Okay, where are they hiding? Am I hearing a noise inside of the game, or is that in the real world? I think that's a plane in the real world. Or a helicopter. I'm going to back you up because you're alone. Let's move up here. I can't believe I haven't lost the meld yet. I, I really can't believe I haven't lost the meld yet. Okay, where are they? Let me guess, they're in here. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Dr. Valen. I've already used my rocket. Where are you, you bastards? <sighs> They've hidden well. Very well. Just gonna park you right in front of the door? <laughs> Why not?
Your move, aliens. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Okay, so Overwatch does not trigger. I lost meld. Damn it. Overwatch does not trigger when those things come out. That is very good to know. Is that seriously only a 71% chance? But you're like, you're like 20 feet away. Nah, you're dead anyway. I actually totally forgot about that Seeker. Completely. Okay, Thin Man, I know there's two of you. <sighs> Where are you? They're either here or they're here. I'm guessing they're up here. Of course. Actually, can I burn your face? I think I can burn your faces. Uh, that might hurt the flight computer, though. But then again, that's the flight computer. I don't think this is. It could be valuable, though. Okay, can I kill them by other means? I'm not going to risk it. That's affirmative. You think two reaction shots are going to kill him? <laughs> Suckers. You think he can't take that damage? Think again. You're going to burn. I'm not going to burn a teammate, am I? No. Fuck you. Killing it with fire. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Wait, are you telling me that is not all the enemies? There's more? Man, there's so many enemies in this in this level. Alright, well they're probably in here. Or around the back, maybe? Either. So let's just clump up around. No, I did not want to fucking open that. Ugh. I was clicking on another teammate, but again, if you click anywhere, it opens the fucking door. That is terrible. That is horrible. Okay. Actually, hold on. Can I capture that thing? Who has the art thrower? It's you. No. He would have to sprint and then he wouldn't be able to use it. Alright, let me think. Right, well, Spectre, you need to run. So why don't you do that? I I'm gonna try to arc throw it. I really want to capture it. This is kind of risky. Kinda, kinda, kinda pretty risky. Hold on, can I get... I can't quite get Spectre. They're just a little bit too far away. All right, well, I'm going to do it. Smoke. Oh, it's even purple. It's so pretty. Wow, 
Oh, it looks like it's hitting Spectre, but apparently it isn't. Actually, where does it even indicate who it's affecting? I don't... Smoke coverage. Here we go. Yeah, she doesn't have it. Even though it looks like she's in it. Okay, who can do something? You can. I kind of want him to be a bit closer, because I really need him to use his arc thrower next turn. It depends what it does. If it dashes out, then I'm going to be able to reach it. If it doesn't, well, no. It's kind of risky, but I'm going to go here. I need to be closer. I, I really want it. Oh, shit. What, who are you shooting at? Oh. Your aim is terrible. Okay, options. Can... Oh, fuck me. I, well, actually, wait a minute. Is that in range? Eh, the corner's touching. Maybe? I don't know. If only I, if only I could do a disabling shot. Actually, wait a minute. Nah, I can't do collateral damage. I could destroy its cover and then maybe do disabling shot. But, nope, I can't. Right, well, can I guarantee a kill? Yeah, I can kill that thing no problem. So, let's just see if this works. And if it doesn't, I go in and kill it. Nope. Not in range. Alright, you gotta die. Mission accomplished. Rookie Malmus has earned a promotion. Congratulations. One out of two canisters are covered. Eh, that's okay. I wanted more, though. I definitely wanted more. You know what? I just realized John Cotton Candy Smith, my mech, even though he took a shit ton of damage, he's not wounded. Do mechs not get wounded? Hmm. Oh, you're an assault! That's perfect, I need more assaults. Well, there you go, there's run and gun. Okay, bunch of stuff. What's next? Covert operation is coming up in four days. Was there anything I needed to do? We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Dr. Valen, if you looked at what I just tried to do, you would know I'm doing my best, okay? I'm trying. But only up to a point. I'm not going to endanger the lives of our troops. Unreasonably, just to capture a stupid alien.